In this chapter, we'll be introducing you to two special features in Photo Impact, features that make Photo Impact unique among image editing software. We're talking about the Easy Palette and the Command Panel. The Easy Palette has not only been designed to give you a more powerful approach to creating great pictures, it also represents Photo Impact's unique approach to image editing. Click on the Easy Palette button in the Panel Manager. The Easy Palette is a special feature that can be used for storing different items such as tools, settings, effects, templates, and many more items for quick and easy access. It's also the easiest way to apply special effects and filters, letting you drag and drop each effect from the Easy Palette directly onto an image. The items in the Easy Palette are separated into two groups, Galleries and Object Libraries. Click on the button in the upper left corner to access the Galleries. In here, you'll find special effects, paint tools, fill tools, and more. The tree panel on the left shows you all of the categories of features that you can apply to your image. For an example of how to apply an item from the Easy Palette, do the following. Click on the Painting Gallery. The painting effects are displayed on the right side of the Easy Palette. Scroll down until you find the effect called Etching 1. You can apply this effect on your image two different ways. Either double-click it, or just drag and drop it onto the image. Instead of having to try out each effect one at a time, there's a great way to preview each of the effects all at once. Again, select the painting gallery. At the top of the Easy Palette, click on the icon with the pointed finger. When you do this, you'll see that your image is now being used to generate thumbnail previews for each one of the painting gallery's effects. If you find that the thumbnails are too small, you can always make them larger. Click on the Thumbnail Size button and then select from the drop-down menu the thumbnail size you want. Now you can see more clearly how these effects will look on your image. Sometimes you may find that the effect you've applied is either too strong or too weak. To fix this, you can customize how you apply an Easy Palette effect. First, undo the filter you've applied by clicking on the Undo button in the standard toolbar. This time, go to the same Etching 1 effect, but instead, just right-click on the thumbnail and select Modify Properties and Apply. You now have a dialog box for customizing and fine-tuning this effect. The bottom button in the Panel Manager is for the Quick Command Panel, which offers you a quick way to access commonly used commands or to retrace or redo steps you've made. You can also record an entire series of steps, otherwise known as macros, that you can save for applying to an image at a later time. First, we'll show you how to apply a quick command. Click on the Quick Command button and select the Task tab. Click on the drop-down menu and select Painting. You can see that there's a list of seven separate steps that make up the Painting Quick Command. When you apply this command, each one of these effects listed here will be applied all at once. If there are any steps in this command that you don't want to apply to your image, simply unclick the box next to the step. Now to apply all of these steps, just click on the play button. You'll see that each step has now been applied to your image. Now click on the History tab. One of the best features of Photo Impact is the ability to keep track of all of your editing changes, as well as to undo some of your steps. This is especially important when you want to experiment with different effects or to even redo something when you've changed your mind again. The simplest way to recover from mistakes is to click the Undo button on the standard toolbar or just press Ctrl-Z. You can keep repeating this until the changes are undone to the point you want. Just as easily, you can click on the Redo button or Ctrl-Y to bring back the changes. However, sometimes it's easier to undo an entire series of changes all at once. In the Quick Command panel, click on the History tab. Here you can see a list of the changes you've made to your document. Photo Impact keeps track of all of the changes you make while you're editing images, recording each one as a level. You can click on any of these actions in the History panel to undo it. Or to undo any changes, move the slider up or down. The History tab not only lists the commands you've applied to your document, it also lets you change the amount of levels that you can undo. Click on the Change Undo Level button. Here you can see that Photo Impact lets you record up to 200 levels of undo. But remember that the higher the level is, the more memory your computer is going to need. In this chapter, we've shown you how the Easy Palette and Quick Command Panels can be used to make your work faster and easier. In the next chapter, we'll be showing you more about editing sections of your images by creating selections.